Well, this conference was organized in order to celebrate 20 years of the Exmus Beamline. So we've had two days in which we've had talks describing the science really from the very early days of the Beamline through to uh, recent times. And it's been great to get everybody together uh, from across the years and to allow them to talk about their science and allow them really to thank the Beamline team for all the work that they've done in developing the Beamline so that all this science has been possible. So all in all, this has been a great celebration of the Exmus Beamline. We had the idea of the Exmus Beamline specifically for magnet magnetism, but at the time we also realised that we had to have something that was of more of wider interest to other scientists. And so we, in the early 90s, uh, we started to think about what to do and then we designed the Beamline. The Exmus team was developed and what has really sort of surprised me more than anything is that the ideas we had were sufficiently general that the Beamline has been developed for a remarkably wide range of science. Uh, this morning I've been listening to talks about polymers, about uh, rather hard condensed matter physics, uh, material science, all sorts of things. And uh, it's now 20 years, and it appears as if the Beamline is still one of the most useful tools that British and European scientists have. So my involvement was that with Malcolm Cooper, we were the people who wrote the initial grant applications and we were the, the initial directors of it. We looked after the management construction of the Beamline and this has passed through a number of different people over the years but it's still there and uh, frankly I'm very proud of it. And figure three showed the uh, number of publications on Xmas as a function of year and what we could see really nicely given that this was submitted in 2001 was this was exponential. <laughs> so, this is to bring us up to date on where we are now and you can see I've updated our mid-range facility title to the National Research Facility for Material Science. So this is our new name. This is the current specification of our source. It delivers us a beam of around 300 by 600 microns. Our current energy range is about 2.4 to 15 kV. Critical energy is about 9.8 kV and we operate in focused monochromatic mode. We have a very broad science portfolio, and that's been based on the continual development of sample environments and, and capabilities. I think one of the main areas scientifically is we're moving towards combinatorial measurements, so we're not just doing an X-ray experiment, we're looking at X-ray experiments while simultaneously measuring maybe the polarization or the electric properties. Uh, we've also developed some offline facilities, so there's an offline laboratory. A new thing is also we've stepped up our outreach work, trying to tackle uh, young female engagement with science. One of the things that's happening more recently, however, is that more and more of these papers being published in um, high-impact journals. <laughs> coffee, because it's now time for coffee. I worked at Exmus, working on strongly correlated electron systems. Now the focus of my research has changed away from Exmus, but somehow Exmus is still my home. It's every time I'm doing an experiment ESRF, it's where I come to. I come and chat to the Beamline crew and talk about what I'm doing, even if it's completely unconnected with Exmus. I'm hoping for an Exmus at 21, because I might not manage Exmus at 30.